Hi everyone, my name is Hani and today I'm going to talk about uh, face fonts. Okay, if you are familiar with CSS codes, you probably know that uh, in order to change the font on the screen, you just type font dash family and you add an, uh, any name like Arial, uh, Co uh, Comic Sans, MS, um, or Time New Roman. The thing is, we are limit. Uh, in the past, we were limited by only a handful of fonts that we can use safely in our in our website. Okay, and fun, funny enough, it is they are called web safe fonts. Okay, a web safe fonts. Uh, it is well, it is a very short list. It includes uh, Arial, Verdana, Korean New, uh, Georgia, Times New Roman, uh, Trebuchet, MS, and uh, Lucida Sans. You see, those are called web safe fonts because whatever it appears, if it appears in one computer, you can uh, can uh, can be sure that it will appear exactly the same in other people computer okay in other pe uh, in other computers in other platforms in other systems okay so uh, for example if i try to use a font uh, called isabella which is um, uh, which is an which is not a web uh, web safe font it is a non web safe font it looks great in my computer uh, right, uh, what you see in front of you it looks great but if i try to use the same formula in other people computer you will not have the same thing. It will appear totally different what I have in my computer. Okay. Now this tutorial is to uh, to uh, is to make a non-web safe font available for uh, the looks the same in all computers. Okay. The first step is I need you to go to a website called 1001 1001freefonts.com in which they have this uh, large collection of uh, free fonts you can download and use uh, and all these fonts there are a non web safe fonts okay and uh, uh, just go through and okay there it is uh, byte police uh, font i like this one and what i'm going to go, i'm going to do is i'm going to click on windows download okay it shouldn't take a few seconds because it is such a small file okay it is it is a zip file so just click on save file and OK. And I want to put it in somewhere I can easily find it later, which is on the desktop. And click save. OK. And again, it shouldn't take, any, uh, shouldn't take more than a few seconds because it is such a small file. Co download complete. Go to your desktop and locate it. Oh, there it is. Double click on it. Now it is a zip file, so any program that uh, handles this thing, uh, mine is WinRAR, just locate a file called byte.ttf, okay? Just click on it, drag it, and throw it on your desktop. Throw it outside, here, okay? Now, uh, uh, it's, it is a file called uh, byte.ttf. A TTF is a true type font, okay? It, it, it is compatible for Mozilla Firefox and Apple Safari, but it is not compatible with Internet Explorer. So we need to convert this TTF to, uh, to EOT. EOT that uh, works fine in Internet Explorer. Okay, uh, there's an example called uh, at uh, mnamjack.multiply.com slash journal slash items st uh, slash 252 in which you can download a program for it. But uh, my favorite uh, so far is an online converter at uh, www.convo.com slash wizards slash ttf dot uh, ttf2 eot dot cgi okay and the instructions is very easy there you just upload uh, you click browse and upload uh, the ttf file uh, okay there it is you upload the ttf file okay press open and just click uh, convert ttf to eot and uh, within a few seconds it says success okay and show a small demonstration of the font Okay, and uh, follow instruction to download this uh, EOT file. Right-click on it and uh, click Save As or Save Targets As. Okay, there's a link. So what I'm going to do is click right button on it and click uh, Save Link. Oh, it. Save Link As. Again, I'm going to put it in, on the desktop because I want to find it easily and click Save. Now I have two files on my desktop. Both of them called. All right. Both of them go called byte, but the difference is the first one is an EOT file. If I click right button here, okay, check the property. It is an EOT embedded open type file. Okay. Then the second one, the, uh, the original one, is a TTF file. Okay. 
which is uh, which it is compatible for Internet Explorer and Safari, but it, it is not compatible with Internet Explorer. And uh, and it, uh, on the other hand, Firefox and uh, Safari it will it is not compatible with EOT file, right? Now next, I'm going to my blog section. Go to uh, choose any blog, any old blog you have. Uh, here, this is the blog I've written early uh, early August, and click edit the blog in which it will lead me to this uh, compose blog section okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach uh, those two files TTF and EOT file just click here attach file icon and uh, I'm going to attach the first one byte.ttf file and click open okay and wait for a few seconds until, uh, until the file is uploaded and there it is a file called byte.ttf Okay, which works in uh, Internet Explorer and Safari, but not uh, ex uh, uh, Internet Explorer. Again, the, uh, I repeat the same process, and uh, I I attach another, the second file, which is byte.eot, which works in uh, Internet Explorer. Then click Save. All right. Now, if I go, okay. Now, okay. Now, if I go uh, uh, at the bottom of uh, my blog, my blog, you will, I will see this. There's two attachments. One is a byte.ttf, and the other one is byte.eot. Okay. Now I go to the customize my site. Just right-click on it and open it in a new tab. Open it in a new tab. Okay. Because I don't I don't want to lose this page. Okay. Go to the custom CSS from there. All right. Now I already I already have this uh, setting inside my custom CSS, but I need you to do to type um, uh, the the type the same what I you see in front of you. So, uh, first I I wrote uh, add font dot uh, sorry add font slash face and uh, put the font family and uh, okay uh, because uh, this is my old one. So uh, instead of sky, I'm going to remove the word sky and I call it uh, I, I go, 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 byte. Okay. Um, byte TTF. Oh no no. Um, let's make it simpler. Uh, byte one. Okay. Byte one. And uh, the the second one is I'm going to type font family byte two. All right. For byte one, I'm going to delete the URL address there. This is this is my old my old uh, uh, font. So I'm going to replace it with new one. Okay. See. Source. Uh, then you have. Uh, URL, okay? Byte one and byte two. For byte one, go back to the to the to the block uh, to the block entry just now, okay? And locate the byte ttf file. Right click on it and copy link location, right? Now by, uh, the ttf uh, file will become uh, byte one, all right? And paste inside the URL. Right, simply like that. Okay. Now I uh, repeat the same process. Uh, repeat the same process for the for the byte two, in which you you're going to link it with EOT file, copy link location, and dump it here. Paste the code here. Now I, what I have is the first one is uh, byte one, which refers to the TTF file, while the second one, the the, the byte two, refers to an EOT file. Okay. Uh, now, um, but I'm going to add uh, CSS code. Well, no, this is uh, I think that uh, that people are more familiar with. Uh, dot cat title. Then I put font fa uh, font family. Sorry, font dash family. And I put the f uh, the first choice is byte one. So what will happen is the browser will select will try to select byte one as the main font. But if it is Internet Explorer, it will not accept a TTF file, so it will take an alternative called byte two. Uh, in case that both byte one and byte two is rejected, it will take Arial as uh, as backup. But before I click save here, I need to do one thing because um, uh, uh, Firefox does not accept uh, long uh, long URL addresses. So basically, I need you to highlight for the uh, from HTTP until the word .com. This is only for the TTF file. I need you to highlight again uh, from HTTP to .com and delete this part. Press the delete button. Okay. This only for the TTF file. After that, you just click save, and you can see the effects uh, works on uh, on Internet Explorer as well on the Firefox. As well on the Firefox, 
and it works on Apple Safari. Okay, uh, I've reached to the end of the tutorial. Thank you. Uh, my name is Hani, and thank you for watching.